First at 530, a follow up to a story we've been tracking since last week. Many of the shelves at Market Basket stores are now empty. Warehouse deliveries have stopped as thousands of employees continue to protest the firing of the company's CEO. And tonight we're getting a first-hand look inside one local store where the shelves are not being restocked. Iowa News News reporter Steve Nielsen is live in the newsroom now with our top local story tonight at 530. Well, over the last few days, as this rally has really grown, we've gotten a look at some of these bare store shelves at stores all across New England. But we went to our local market basket today in New Bedford to see how the rally has impacted them. The massive rally has stretched to New Bedford. It's a fight over CEOs. And that's what it is. We all love our CEO. We love our family. I spend over 60 hours a week here. This is my second home and I'm not willing to give it up for anybody. Kathy Staines is one of many Market Basket employees using vacation days to rally against the company's board. The board voted out Arthur T. DeMoulis in favor of his cousin, Arthur S. DeMoulis. New Bedford store director Bill Clark gave us an inside look at his Market Basket now that virtually every employee in the company has protested, including him. Nobody's working until Arthur T gets back. The shelf's not being stocked until Arthur T gets back. That's clear because even though customers continue to buy, nothing's getting replaced. But we're actually sticking up for the customer. We're sticking up for the prices. We're sticking up for all the loyal customers. I mean, we, we love Market Basket. I he showed us the back cooler, typically packed to the brim with produce. It's now empty. Other New England market baskets are in the same situation as workers march on the company headquarters in Massachusetts. Clark is certain employees and customers will force the board's hand, and Arthur T. will be reinstated. You know, this guy is genuine. This guy is real, and people are going to start seeing that. You know, he's a good guy, and good guys win. Now, the back and forth in this family feud is complicated. It's been going on for a very long time. So for a full breakdown of it, you can go to our website. It's WPRI.com. In the newsroom, Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.